Hi, in this video I'm revisiting an old project from about eight years ago. It's a custom layout I made for the iOS app Lima and it's a controller for Tractor Pro DJ software. It gives you control over two standard decks and two remix decks and you also have a fair amount of control over effects, hot cues and looping. It's split into two main areas, prepare and perform. Prepare gives you control over browsing and loading tracks, as well as controls over the grid and various settings for the remix decks. Basically all the things you would need to do between playing tunes. The perform area is meant for performance and the area is further subdivided so you can easily switch between standard decks and remix decks. As well as buttons here controlling hot cue, beat masher effect, beat slicer effect, and looping. So let's take a look now at the process of loading and playing a track. First you need to load the layout in Lima and connect Lima to Tractor. There's a link in the description to set up instructions and the download of the layout and mapping files that you'll need. Once you've set up, you'll be met with the prepare area. You can use this section here to open up the browser and to move through the tracks. If you hold down favourite, that will cycle through your favourites. If you hold down folder, that will move the folders up and down on the left hand side here. Pressing expand will expand the folder out. So let's load a track. You would use the load A or load B buttons here to load it into deck A or deck B will load it into deck A. You can also remove it by holding down the delete or unload button and pressing the load A. So let's load that back in again. So if you don't already have your track aligned to the grid you can use these controls at the top here to do so and you've also got a zoom in and zoom out for the track itself. You would use these buttons to change the grid settings here for deck A or deck B. And underneath here you've got kind of a player, a mini transport control, so you can hear whatever's in deck A or deck B. And you can monitor that as well. We do have some other controls up here for the remix decks, but I'll look at these later. We've also got scratch control up here. Or we can seek position throughout the track. And we can change the tempo. So we've got the track loaded, it's all synced to the grid. Let's move to the perform area. You'll see at the bottom here we've got standard transport controls, play and cue and sync. I've also added a cut button here so you can cut the fader from the middle to the left or on deck B from the middle to the right or if the fader's all the way at the other side you can use the cut button to cut it into the middle. These are your standard volume controls for deck A and deck B and your monitor. Going back to the transport controls, I've also added a stop button. This is hard mapped to the turntable effects effect on FX unit 3. And it makes like a short stop or start again. Next we've got these four tabs here. This first one will control your hot cues. You've got mash controls, which are hard mapped to the beat masher effect. Again on FX unit three, but this time slot one. Slot two is assigned to the beat slicer effect. And you can kind of chop and change between these as you like. Finally we've got loop, so you can change the loop size here and this is shown by this red dot and you can turn the loop on and off. So 
So here we've got flux mode, which basically means the track will still play in the background while it's looping. You've also got a jump button for beat jumping. This will jump by the set amount up here. Either forwards. Or if you hold down shift, it'll jump backwards through the track. Above this, we've got filter control. And low, medium and high EQ settings. The buttons in the middle will reset these to the default values. Above this, we've got the effect units. So these are mapped to effect unit one and effect unit two. You can load your own effects through the drop down menu here. If we hold down the shift button, you'll notice this changes to two little buttons here. This is to switch between the older tractor effects and the newer tractor effects. So let's set this back. And over here is the same, except uh, it's linked to FX Unit 2. You can route any of your decks to these effects units. So here we've got deck A routed to this effects unit and this effects unit. So theoretically we can use six effects all at once. Finally at the top here we've got the loop recorder. Here you can set the size of loop you want to record and record and play buttons as well as dry wet up here. So moving over to the remix decks, we'll just switch to the prepare page to load something in. So let's open up the browser. Let's move to remix sets and we'll load a remix setup. So you'd use load C and load D here to load the remix sets. I'm gonna load it into both C and D. While you're on the perform page, this tab here can be used to change the tempo of the remix deck. And we've also got some transport controls here, which I'll come to in a moment. These buttons down the side will switch to the four different pages of whatever you have in your remix set. You've got your sync button and deck play button. So let's get something playing. You'll notice that while the slot was waiting to play, it lit up in red, and as it's playing, it lights up in, in white. So these transport buttons here, what this will do is, if you hold it down and press one of the cells, it will play backwards. This will stop any of the cells. This will delete any of the cells, if you hold it down and press a cell, and this will turn effects routing on for any of the cells. So you'll notice here that it lights up here and it also lights up at the bottom. Here you can also turn on or off key lock. There's the effect again, you turn on monitor and the punch. And you've also got control here over the loop settings of each of the samples and the latch settings. Here you can turn quantize on or off so it's currently set to two beats. We can change that to say four. You can use the capture source here to either load a loop from deck A or B or whatever it is you have in your loop recorder at the time. So you select what you'd like. You can change the size of the loop using these buttons. And then you would hold down capture 
and press a cell to load that into the sample cell. So moving back to the perform section again, we've got some further controls here for each of the remix deck slots. This one controls the filter amount for each of the slots. Again, the middle button will reset it. You've got control over the volumes and you can control the EQ. That pretty much covers everything. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.